Today's video is sponsored by Mama Bear Legal Forms. One of my favorite things in life. I feel like I say that a lot in these videos, like one of my favorite things in life, but truly one of my favorite things in life is the Enneagram. And I know I've talked a lot about it on here. It's just like one of these tools in life that just, oh, it's opened my eyes. I mean, I've taken Myers-Briggs and DISC and like other personality profiles, but this thing is like so stinking spot on. It is freaking mind blowing. It really is. And there's so many levels to it in depth. So if you've not taken it, you need to check it out. It's E-N-N-E-A-G-R-A-M, Enneagram. And some of you think that it's like a cult because those of us that love it, that's all we talk about, <laughs> which it kind of is. But really, it just gives you language and the tools to be like, oh wow, this is who I am and why I am the way I am a little bit. And like, okay, this is how I function in health and in unhealth and like all, oh, it is so good. So I thought, okay, well, it'd be fun to say, well, what is each Enneagram number love about the budget. Mm -hmm. So all you ones out there, you perfectionists, you love the idea of doing a budget because you love a sense of control. You love to say, okay, I know exactly where my money's going. And if it gets to the end of the month and you actually stick to your budget, you're just like, yes, I aced the test. I win, I'm the best. But if you miss it, that inner critic, you ones, I know this about you, comes out and it's like, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? So don't let that inner critic happen, no. But ones, you love the budget because you love a sense of control. All you twos out there, you are the helpers. And you love doing a budget because you like to go on a date with your spouse. Mm -hmm. We always say, hey, you need to make a fun night of doing the budget, go out on a date. And you guys love doing that. And the generosity of a two makes them really excited about the gifts category in the budget. So when you're looking, you'd be like, oh, yes, the gifts, okay. I can actually make extra meals for people or if they need this or they need that. You have that, that category there in your budget to go and do what you two do best, help people around you. All right, you threes, you performers, you. Mm -hmm. You love tracking the budget. Yes, tracking all the transactions. If you use every dollar, your transactions automatically come into the app and you track them. Now I'm a three and this is what I love because I'm like, yes, I'm actually making progress. I actually am being very efficient with my time because while I'm tracking transactions, I'm also doing like four other things and I'm keeping my money together and I know when I'm winning, I know when we're off base, I know when we have more money to spend, like, oh, it's so great. So I love it because I feel like, yes, the progress and being efficient with my money. It's my favorite thing in the world. And we're really good at like tackling goals. Like if we see something out front, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta get out of debt. And you're like, you're focused on it, you know, or if you have to save up money for a purchase, you are really motivated to do it. Because again, it's all about the progress and the budget helps with the progress of your money so, so much. All right, fours, the individualists. You guys probably don't love budgeting in general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I always make fun of fours because some of my best friends are fours, but they're like, mm. they're just like a little, like not all that applies to me. Like I'm a four, I see life in my own way and like all that stuff. Yeah, mm -mm. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not good for me. I, you know, it's not cool. It's not cool. Yeah, all you fours, I know you, I know you. And you also don't have the need to spend money to impress people because you are who you are. So you're like, you know what? I don't need extra money in X or Y category because I am comfortable with the uniqueness and the individualistic person that I am. I love you fours. All right, fives. You guys can just get lost in the details of researching a budget tool. Mm -hmm. When you realize, okay, we need a budget. You fives, you're looking at Excel spreadsheets, you're looking at different apps, different websites to see who can give me the most accurate information. Like, I wanna know all of it. I need all the details and whatever tool allows me to see all the analytics and all the insights. Oh, that's where you are best fives. Because you can get so into the details and you know exactly what's going on because you actually research it and you actually look and you know the habits that are forming in your money because again, you study it and you research it. And fives, you also have a tendency to have a little bit of a scarcity mindset, mm -hmm. just in everything in life, including your money. So you actually might be good because you are okay pulling back in areas. So if you are saving up for an emergency fund or getting out of debt, fives are great at going in and saying, you know what, as I've looked at all the details of everything going on, we really don't need this money because we can just put it somewhere else and, and it's fine, we'll be okay. 
Sixes, you are the loyalists and you love the budget because it will help you build up your emergency fund. Mm -hmm. When you're intentional with your money, you know exactly how much money per month is going to the emergency fund when you're on baby steps one or three because all you sixes out there, you like to feel a little extra secure. Mm -hmm. And hey, we could all learn from sixes. Yes, there's so much to learn from them. And you guys hear me talk about the importance of having a will. Well, a six, yep, it won't take much convincing for them to do a will because they want to be prepared for the unexpected. And I want everyone to have that peace of mind, no matter what Enneagram number you are, even if you don't even know your number, I want you to have that peace of mind. So if you don't have a will, go ahead and put that line item in your budget for next month. And my friends at Mama Bear Legal Forms make creating a will for you super affordable and easy. They are here for you and your wishes. So this doesn't need to feel like doom and gloom. Like That's not the thing you're paying the budget. No, you're putting in this part of your budget, putting it in for a will because you're creating a sense of security in your life. When you create your will, you actually get to consider things like how much you wanna leave to the people you love. What specific things do you wanna give them? What specific charities can you bless? In fact, creating your will might motivate you in other areas because the sooner you pay off debt, the sooner you build up your emergency fund, the sooner you start investing, the more wealth you'll have to leave a legacy that you want. So creating your will is actually something that affects you as you move through all the Ramsey baby steps. So go to mamabearlegalforms.com and use promo code Rachel to learn more. And again, you sixes, you probably already have a will in place. All right, sevens, you guys are the enthusiasts, the life of the party. So your favorite budget categories always have to do around entertainment, food, and travel. These are the things that you absolutely live for. You'll put extra money in these categories because, hey, life is fun. Why make it dull and boring and not go have fun? You sevens are all about it. So you wanna spend money on things that are fun. So your budget usually reflects that and you love it because you say, hey, I actually have money to do the fun things that I want. So all you sevens out there, I know how you live. I secretly wanna be a seven. I kind of think I am, but they always say I'm a three. That's what all the tests say. But sevens, you have a lot of fun. Eights, you challengers. Okay, so eights are interesting because the only person they really wanna listen to are themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know this about you eight. So once you set a budget, eights, they actually follow it because like, you know what, it's right, I did it. And the challenge of like getting above it and the challenge of paying off debt because they, they don't like authority, usually. So the idea of someone else telling your money what to do when you're in debt, like you hate that and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna budget so that I can get out of debt so quickly. That is that is big for the eights. So the eights are very motivated by the budget, especially to get out of debt. All right, nines, you are the peacekeepers, like the nicest people on the planet. And also you're excited when the budget is over and it's done because sometimes you can get very exhausted by making all these decisions, thinking through all the details, and sometimes the budget creates some conflict if you're married. And so you nines, you just don't like that. You're like, you know what? I would just rather avoid it. I'd rather like the spouse do it. I'll sign off on it, but like, oh, it exhausts me and to exude energy on something like a budget. And if like things come up that are tension points, like, ugh, I just don't, the fight's not even worth it, it's not. So you nines are happiest when the budget is done for the month and you're like, okay, we can move on. Now, I asked some of my teammates about their budget quirks and here's what they had to say in regards to their Enneagram. Kelly is a nine and she said, my favorite thing about the budget is letting my number one husband, again, the perfectionist, formulate the budget and then I just get to approve it, add or subtract whenever necessary. Heather is a two and she said, as a two, I naturally neglect my needs or push them down the line of importance, prioritizing others' needs first. I think that's so interesting because that is such a two thing. Then she goes on to say, but a budget gives me permission to spend on things that I know that I need and I feel okay if there's a line item for things that I actually plan for. Peter, who is a four, said, if I indulge my spontaneous for free spirits, then the budget goes downhill real quick. <laughs> I appreciate that, Peter. And Kelsey, who is an eight, said, I enjoy challenging myself and pushing my limits. I'm on baby step seven, and every once in a while, I'll put a zero in my restaurant line item for the month. 
just to see if I can do it. You challenge her, that's right, such an eight thing. Well, you guys, again, I think it's just so important to understand who you are and how that affects your money. That's one reason I love the Enneagram. That's one reason I wrote my new book, Know Yourself, Know Your Money, because this is all so, so important. So if you haven't figured out your Enneagram number, I would do it, because it's just fascinating. <laughs>